Alrighty, so today we are opening the second series from Pop Mart, who makes some absolutely beautiful figures. Um, I did an unboxing of the first series fairly recently, and uh, I will leave a link to that video. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get the mystery figure, but that's okay. And uh, you have a chance again in this one. Here are the odds. Uh, looks like the regular edition ratio is 1 in 8, and the secret edition ratio is 1 in 96. So that's not quite as bad as some other ones. Uh, let's see, there was a Toy Story Alien Remix series that I opened that was 1 in 144 was the chance of getting the mystery Al figure, uh, Al in his chicken suit, and I never got that. So the odds are a little better for this one, but here's a look at all the ones that we can get. Plus you can get a mystery figure. Uh, the mystery figure last time uh, was actually a St. Patrick's Day figure, and I did not get that one. Um, I might eventually order it if I can find it for a reasonable price, but today we're going to go ahead and open these. I've been really excited to open them. I've had them for about a month now. I ordered them probably two months ago, and uh, I thought at first I wasn't going to be getting them, and uh, finally uh, I saw that they were finally on their way. Um, sometimes I will let you know that uh, AliExpress can be a little frustrating sometimes with their shipping, but most of the time I usually get everything without an issue. And if there is one issue, they usually take care of it and um, won't give you a refund or exchange and so on. So I'm really looking forward to opening these and as you know, with most things I open, um, these are definitely not meant for little kids. Um, the pieces are very small, um, which you can see here. In this one, those, the Pixar balls are very tiny, so you've got to be careful where you put these. I um, don't have little kids anymore, so I don't have to worry about that. Here is... Dope. But uh, just to let you know, I'm trying to figure out where the heck do you open this? Um, <laughs> that's weird. Oh, okay, I see it. There is a piece of tape down here. And There's a little game board on top. That's a cute little design. It's a start and finish line. That's really cute. I love the attention to detail that so many of these companies do. Um, beautiful stuff. Let's go ahead and take these all out of here. They even have a design at the bottom of the box. We'll see that in a minute. Looks like another repeated board game. I'm running out of room for all my Toy Story Alien figures. I need to uh, get some new shelving or something. Oops, sorry about the bump there. All right, so let's go ahead and just put these over here for now. That was an uh, <laughs> interesting thing. All right. So, let's go ahead, move that out of the way, let's go ahead and open our first one. Here's a look at the box inside, the small little boxes, and uh, there is the secret figure, and uh, I'll show that to you at the end if we don't actually get it, but uh, they again, they put the odds on here, and those odds are definitely better than some of the ones I've done in the past, so, oh, okay, so there is a tab right there. That makes life a little easier for me. And then they even have a tab here to help you pull it open this way. And all right, and so if you're gonna try to do these as a mystery opening, there is a card inside. So if you don't wanna see that, you need to kind of cover that up. And let's see what we get here. Our first one is the bowling one. There's a little bowling alley. <laughs> Very cute. And then here's the aliens. And they're cute little bowling, up, bowling pin outfits. Let's see what we got in the package here. 
do some additional stuff. All right, so here is, I guess, would be the bowling ball. It even has little finger holes in it. <laughs> That's so cute. And at the end, I'll show you these all up close. Um, but here is the card for this one. So that's very cute. Kind of shows you how to set it up. So we'll go ahead and let's see, do I want to open these all now? Uh, let's see. Sure, let's go ahead and open these. They're very easy to open at the top. Here is our first little alien dude. <laughs> Stand behind here, hoping he doesn't get a hit in his, his eye. <laughs> I don't know that I'd want to be standing at the end of a bowling alley when someone's throwing a ball at me. And here is our next one. Very cute. That's the back. <laughs> and then the guy who is doing the bowling. There's the giant ball. There's the little ball. So cute. And then you can put the ball right there. And I guess that's the part where the pins would be, but you can obviously only put, uh, you can't put them all on there at the same time. So there is that for now. We'll put this one aside and move on to the next one. Uh, there's so many small pieces that you gotta kind of be careful. Um, and remember what belongs to what. I mean, you usually can go back online. Or uh, in this instance, they have uh, the actual card that lets you know what goes with what. So, But uh, I usually put the cards away somewhere else. On to box number two, Dose. There's our pack to keep our aliens fresh. And this one. Go ahead and go here. And we got, got this one, the billiards. It's cute. Although this looks like a different game than uh, standard billiards. I'm not familiar with all pool, ball, pool games. But um, actually, no, I think this is a totally different game. Um, I'll have to admit, I don't know every game in the world. Um, which one is this? Hole in One. Okay. So this is Hole in One in a party game. There is the... Pictures of all the setup. Oh my gosh, that's a little tiny pool stick and everything. Um, I think I'm gonna wait till the end on this. I guess this is like a uh, giant um, cue ball, the uh, stick sharpener. Sharpener, yeah, that's it. When you put the chalk on the end of this is stick. Sorry, I'm half with it. I have not slept well in a very long time. Um, Last night was not a good night for me, but we'll just go ahead and look at these in here first. He has the ball and then uh, his little buddies. And this is the resin or chalk used for the stick. I used to play a uh, pool a lot at my friend's house. Used to have a pool table, um, but uh, I haven't played in I would say, let's see, my son's 12 now. Probably 20 years or more I probably haven't played pool. Um, other than playing on a app. <laughs> oh, 
here. Here we go. I'm just curious if you, any of you who open these, do you do you prefer sets that are mystery or do you prefer ones that you know everything you're getting? Um, sometimes I, I, I like both um, just because sometimes I kind of um, like the mystery, but then also it can become very annoying. Like my uh, Toy Story Alien set from Beast Kingdom. Um, it was just... Uh, endless trying to get Al and I never did here is a cool floorboard I'm assuming this is like the video game that you play and you stomp on the arrows the dance was it dance dance revolution or whatever the hell it was called uh happy dance machine and uh I'm not sure it almost looks like they're trying to be break dancers, but yet it's uh, like the flooring on a video game uh, for a dance. I love how they even have the scuff marks from shoes. That's really cute. And here's the dancers. He's even got a towel on. Just he's sweating it up. We'll go ahead and open this one since it doesn't have small pieces like the other one did. So here we go. Here's our little dude with a towel. Cool him down. So cute. And let's put him there. And this little homeboy with his hat on backwards. So cute. And then this little guy. He's, uh, looks like he's dancing away. He's happy. And, um... They have a little foot peg thing there in the bottom to hold someone. Is there something else I'm missing? No. So I'm not sure what that peg there is for because um, not one of these people have uh, peg holes underneath them. So I'm not 100% certain. But uh, yeah, there's the aliens from that one. So cute. Move these over. But uh, don't worry, I will show you close-ups at the end. Let's move this box. I think we get everything out of there. Always double-check your boxes before you throw them away. Because digging through the trash is no fun when you got to try to find something. All righty. This one's... Very flat. We get. Ooh, it's an interesting one. Looks like you're going to take this out to make the wheel spin. And let's see who goes along with this one. Oh, that's really cute. Look at the back. That is really neat. Let's see what else we got in here. We got our little freshness pack. Oh, okay. This one you throw in darts at, so it's a dart board. And then this one comes with one blindfolded alien and an alien pointing like he's gonna know what he's pointing at. Um, <laughs> and then the uh, darts would go to the board. Wonder, do they actually stick? I'm wondering if it's magnetic. Probably is. Let's find out. I'm gonna get this one out of here. Uh, yeah, it is. It's magnetic. Look at that. Very cute. That's a cool little game. Oh, you can pretty much, I think, anywhere on the board itself, even the center. Very cool. So that is really neat. Um, try to keep everything together.
this one over here. So that was really cute. All right, we got four more. It's hard to see that tab on there sometimes. Here's I guess I should have opened all this on St. Patrick's Day since it's green. But uh, I kind of wasn't really paying attention to the days when I wasn't feeling well. Which is most of the time. Alright, this box is a pretty big one. Get something fluffy inside. Let's see what we got. Ooh, this one's really cool. That one's a big one. Look at that. Let's see how do we get this off of here. Um, uh, okay. That is really cute. This reminds me of, if I can find the video, I'll post it on here. Um, we have a uh, playground near our house, and my bigger kids would get on the one of these and try to hit it to the ground, their butt to the ground, um, when they get older. So this is super cute. Look at that. Woo! -hoo. So cute. Love the detail. Even has, uh, I'm not sure exactly what that's supposed to be. Is that like that little rocket that crashed into the moon in that video? If you know what I'm talking about. And that's a soda bottle he's actually riding in with some parts attached, cardboard and such. Kids being creative with their imagination. Let's see what else is in here. Anything else we get? Oh, we get a... Um... Oh, okay, so this goes in here. This actually connects to this and I guess you would wind it up then and then it would just kind of go whatever I'm assuming very cute so let's keep that with that and I'm not even sure where I'm gonna put these when I'm done I'm, I've just totally run out of shelves I need to purchase more shelves Sadly, the Detolf, or whatever you want to call them, that were made by Ikea are, like, impossible to find anymore. Or they are at very high price than what they used to be. Before COVID, they were $60 a display case. And last I looked, they were 120 something But then they were also no longer available. All right, this is a very big one. Air hockey table. I love this one. I used to love playing air hockey. It's probably the only hockey I was good at. Although I was a very good ice skater. Um, look at that. So cute. It's a Pizza Planet table. Air hockey table. <laughs> so cute. And here are all the pieces for this one. This one is, uh, the box is really thick. Alright, so here's the picture for this one. So they're playing air hockey. Now it makes me want to uh, play air hockey with someone. And here are the pieces for it. I guess that is the air hockey piece they're using, or is that a, let me actually see. Yeah, it looks like that's the piece they're using. It's kind of an oddly shaped um, piece. And then there's the score. And then there's their little, um, it looks like a um, soda bottle with a tack in it. <laughs> a little, whatever you call them to hit them back and forth that's very cute already we got two more left 
And here's giving ourselves some good luck, which never happens in my house. So let's go ahead and open this one. kind of like a whack-a-mole yeah it's like a whack-a-mole game and then you put the little look how cute these are <laughs> you can see them there cute little alien just goes inside the little spots there let's go ahead and open this one they have a cute little mallet so hopefully these are magnetic because I'm not sure how well those are going to stay in there. Because on that angle, that's pretty steep for these to stay in. Um, yeah. So there you go. And then uh, it's this little hammer. It even has a little Pixar star on the end. So that is really cute. I think it might be magnetic. At least they haven't fallen out yet. And here's the little dude that comes along with this one. And his stick. Which I'm not sure how he's supposed to be holding it. They should have made a different design. He doesn't exactly hold it. So I'm not sure about that one. Yeah, I guess it just kind of sits to the side. Alrighty, let's go on to our very last one. That was fun. Last one, here we go. Yeah, which one didn't we get yet? Um, looks like this one right here. And let's see what we got. It's that one. <laughs> so we did end up getting the regular one. Here's the card for it. So that, that my friend, is the last one. Here is our aliens. Three aliens. One with a very cute mustache. Has a cute little table, with Pizza Planet logo on it. Very cute. And then there's these little cards with numbers on it. This is a or a letter. It's a guessing game. Guess, guess, guess is what it's called. And that's what we're guessing on. The odds in this game probably don't sound very good. So we got A and E. Locks the sitting on. And, like I said, there's these little cards. Just be careful with your pieces because, like I said, there are a lot of tiny pieces in this. And if you're cleaning or whatever else, you could easily vacuum these things right up. So, wherever you're putting them, try to do it where they're not going to get down. Knocked down is easy. I do my best to put things with a lot of pieces in them inside glass enclosed cabinets um, so you don't have that problem I know that's no fun all right I think I got everything out of there love the dude with the mustache and then they hold their little they hold their little numbers in their hands like this 
like that. And then I guess the other people try to guess what it is. And then they can sit on blocks. And then we can give the next one his letter. Maybe. There we go. It's a little close to his face, but... Uh... <laughs> And the last little dude. So, what do you think of these? I absolutely think they're adorable. Um, I always look forward to when there's full sets of Toy Story Alien figures. Uh, they show up off and on. So if you're uh, interested in finding, seeing any future ones, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. And uh, I like to keep you up to date to whatever's Going on in Disney collecting, Toy Story, Aliens, and so on. I pretty much collect everything Disney, but my main focus is Toy Story, Aliens, um, as I'm sure you've seen in the past. So, here we'll take a real quick look at all the game pieces, uh, the different games in this series. Air Hockey, Miss Playing Air Hockey, Wonderful Duel, and there's good old Rocket Rock. I'll have to make sure I include that in this video. Dart Tour. I, used to, I probably would not be very good at darts now since my vision is so bad. <laughs> but Happy Dance Machine. I love how they use uh, straws as their handles for standing up. And here is the other one. Tricky Bowling Pins. And Hole in One. And guess, guess, guess. Who was around for Guest Jeans? Do you remember Guest Jeans back in the 80s? With Brooke Shields, I think, was in the ad. Or is that Sassoon? One of them. I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't, what, I wasn't uh, into girls' jeans, so. Ah, you get it? Uh, never mind. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed these. I did so much. I always love to see new Toy Story Alien figures. I'm hoping that if uh, the movie does continue to be made, which I'm assuming it is for Toy Story 5, that we get some decent... Um, inclusion of the aliens. So that's it for now. I will uh, catch you guys in the next video. Bye bye.